What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Should we talk about Final Destination 6 in this video here today? Now, this is going to be something that many of you might be excited about, something you might enjoy hearing, something you might despise here, hearing and be grateful for what we're about to get. Now, we know Final Destination 6 Bloodlines, the working title that is about to start shooting out in Vancouver later this year in July, is the movie we are actually going to get. What I'm going to go over in this video is the first responders concept that was written by Marcus Dunstan and Patrick, Patrick Melton, I believe, to saw writers that were initially attached to give us found destination six but ultimately we're not going to get their story but you are going to get a recap of what their story would have been from me here in this video i'll go over a general synopsis of what i've jotted down go over who our main character was and go over some major deaths that would have transpired and also reveal a huge twist that would have transpired in the movie that's not going to happen as well so just before we get into that, I want to shout out the person who shared this with me. It's the same person who shared the audition tapes with me. So shout out to you, Matt D. So this is, again, the first responders concept. Now, keep in mind, Craig Perry had touched on this. Pro producer Greg Craig Perry from the Founders Nation series had touched on this in 2020 when speaking with Digital Spy. He had stated we're toying with having it take place in the world of first responders, EMTs, firemen and police. These people deal with death on the front lines every day and make choices that can cause people to live or die. We're thinking that world might be an interesting way into a Final Destination movie and one which can also generate unique set pieces in a very credible way. So here are some of the core characters you would have had from this screenplay from Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton. You would have had Vanessa, who would have been our central character. She is an EMT. Taylor, Vanessa's supervisor and close friend. Officer Jerry, Officer Rachel, who is Jerry's partner and Vanessa's friend. Frank, who is a firefighter chief, firefighter chief. Anthony, who is a fighter, fighter, firefighter rookie. You have Grant, who is a hipster supervisor, and then Rita, who is Grant's social media obsessed girlfriend. Now, our central focus would have been on, again, Vanessa, our EMT. She's an EMT who has just recently returned to her role after taking some time off after a traumatic on the job experience occurred between her and her trainee, who is deceased now, Gina. Now, after returning to her EMT duties, Vanessa is called to assist with an emergency in a crowded underground tunnel with heavy traffic. After Vanessa has a premonition of this tunnel collapsing, she and several other survivors escape and start to slowly die one by one. So your opening premonition event would have been a collapsing underground tunnel. Apparently, what would have made Def's design this time a lot more suspenseful is the fact that we don't see everyone die one by one in this premonition the last four characters all die together when the entire ceiling caves in and all the water from the above river comes crashing in so there's some suspense as to what the death order was here with who we follow the story for after the premonition and i do think that's a nice touch a few key deaths from this story would have included a character's head getting crushed by a falling tv at a sports bar uh a character being crushed by school bleachers, death by revolving doors, crushed by a tree, and then a fire station explosion that leads to the character's mangled and burned body landing several feet away into the windshield of our lead character's car as they pull up on the scene. Now, that revolving door death might stand out to some of you if you've been following the Final Destination 6 process very closely. Keep in mind, also back in 2020, Craig Perry said this with Digital Spy. Uh, speaking speaking about this now scrap screenplay, he said, I don't think anybody will look at a revolving door in the same way again. Well, he didn't go into any detail there, but I'm going to give you the gist of what he was referring to by talking about how this death would have played out. I won't say which character this was, but the character runs to leave out the doors and they start to malfunction. He tries to move them with one of his, hand, one of his hands and ends up getting four of his fingers cut off. The door begins to move just as he's about to exit. He gets his second hand also caught and the fingers on that hand get amputated. There's blood everywhere. He does manage to eventually make it out of the doors, but is then hit by a speeding truck. So very, tr very dramatic in true found destination fashion. <laughs> now, there's a major twist that ends up connecting everything. The traumatic event that caused Vanessa to leave her job was a call that got her trainee Gina killed on site. Recall what I said at the beginning. At the start of the film, Vanessa is called to the scene of an emergency along with her trainee Gina. When they get there, they learn that a druggie was trying to assault a woman who hit him in the head and he, I guess, somehow ended up dying in the midst of all this. He's dead when they arrive 
on on scene Vanessa and Gina try to resuscitate the man. Vanessa ends up being able to successfully revive the druggie and he attacks both women, grabs a gun and shoots Gina dead and then escapes. This obviously screws with Vanessa. Fast forward some time later, Vanessa gets back on the job and that's where that's where our tunnel scenario starts. The end of the movie would have revealed there was someone who was involved in the tunnel collapse that actually caused the tunnel to collapse in the first place. Uh, now, what we would have seen is there would have been someone on a motorcycle who had a near miss hit with a truck and then the truck swerved to miss them and hit the tunnel wall. This caused a crack in the foundation and this crack would end up causing the collapse. So they end up using our characters end up using surveillance footage to find the person on the motorcycle and surprise, surprise, the person turns out to be the druggie from the beginning that killed Vanessa's partner. Now, the druggie was meant to die that night. That's what Vanessa starts to realize. And their in intervention at the scene caused Gina to die and ultimately led to the tunnel collapse as well. That is the gist of what Final Destination 6 would have been with our first responders. I didn't get into really too many major things about who we who Vanessa was, what we would have learned about her over time besides her trauma. You guys can let me know what you think about this concept down in the comment section below. There's some other cool things about this that I will share going forward uh when i just feel like it <laughs> but again let me know down in the comment section below also if you don't believe it you don't have to but if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video